Hey, what's up guys? Thank you guys for this video for the Curious video number 4. It's been a while since the last one came out. I was supposed to film this one a long time ago when I did, but then it was really blurry and I messed up on that and then I got the flu and then it slowed me down and I couldn't really film it because I was really sick and it's really cold in my garage and I'm wearing a jacket right now, but it doesn't matter because I'm filming anyway. It's going to be the last one. I'm really excited for it. What's up guys, CACOXLA7 here. Sorry this video took so long to come out. You see what happened was, I filmed it, and the footage was really blurry, and I messed up on that cute footage. Hey, what's up guys, this is Q&A's number four. Yeah, that footage sucks. And then, I tried to refilm it, but then I got the flu, and I was really sick, and it got really cold, and now I'm going to do the Q&A's video. First question, how old are you? 15, my birthday is July 31st. How tall are you? 69 inches exactly, which is 5 foot 9. If you were stranded on an island and you got to choose from a lifetime supply of cookies or a camera and internet connection, what would you choose? I would choose the internet connection and the camera because that way I could send a video to someone online asking them to come to the island that I was at and they could give me cookies and then I would have both. Do you have any siblings? Nope, I'm the one and only child. Have you ever been to England? Yes, I went to England a while ago. I was like 12 and I went there for two weeks and it rained the entire time. It was also cool because I got to go on the Millennium Eye while there was a thunderstorm and then the Millennium Eye stopped when we were at the top and it was lightning and it's a metal box that I'm in. That was fun. What's your favorite part of the video making process from the conception of an idea to receiving feedback on YouTube? I gotta say the most fun part is probably either filming or editing it. Filming can be a pain in the butt because the toughest part is getting people to come over and film. Once you start filming though, it's usually pretty fun. Sometimes you'll know if a video's not working out. I've filmed several videos where while I was filming it, I realized this is suckish. No, it's not gonna work out. But then other times, like the Saw video and 10 Things You Should Never Do a Nerf War, while you're filming it, you're just like, yeah, this is gonna work. So that's pretty fun. And then editing is kind of fun because you just kind of do it whenever you want to, and I don't know why, I just kind of find editing fun, because you turn a bunch of footage that is, you know, not the best, and then through editing you can make it, you know, a huge big video, it's kind of fun like that, so. <laughs> What's your favorite horror movie? I don't know. I mean, I've watched a buttload of horror movies. I gotta say, I really like Scream, and like Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, all those originals, but I don't know why, but I really like the original Dawn of the Dead, 1978 George A. Romero. I don't know why, I just really like that. Night of the Living Dead is also kind of good, but I hated the ending. I can understand why he did it, but I still hated it, because it was basically like, just nothing good happened. Everything, everyone died. It was just so sad, and it was just... Mm, just. Do you plan on being a big director in the future? I don't really care if I'm a big director, as long as I'm still making videos that are good and I'm having fun, that's all that matters. Have you read, like, the Lord of the Rings movies or books? I've never read the books, and I never will because I hate reading, but I have watched the movies loads of times. It is probably my second favorite movie series. The first being Harry Potter, because I grew up with Harry Potter. I, it's ingrained into my mind, the first two movies, because I watched them when I was like four years old when the first one came out, so that one's probably my first, but Lord of the Rings is just... Just wonderful. I love it. And probably my favorite scene out of the whole series is the scene when Sam and Frodo are on the mountain in Return of the King, or the volcano, and they're climbing up, and, and they just can't even move anymore, and Frodo's like, Sam, I'm gonna die. This sucks so much. Why the hell are we even here? Our feet are so small. They got hair on them. We're not even wearing shoes. We're stupid, Sam. Why are we here? And then Sam's like, For Mr. Frodo, it's okay. I make flowers and plants. And they're so beautiful, and that's my inspiration. And we're gonna do this, Frodo. We got this, eh? And he picks up Frodo and he carries him up the mountain. And it's so inspirational, and the music is just so perfect. And you just wanna be a little hobbit in the Shire, eating potatoes and stuff. And it's just wonderful. It's just wonderful. How did you come to like making short movies? I gotta say, short movies are pretty fun to make because they're short and they don't take that long to make. I can't imagine how hard it would be to film a two hour long movie. The longest thing I've ever made, the longest video I've ever made was Spirit of Vengeance and that was an hour long and that took up like four months and that was back when making videos was pretty easy. Now I can't imagine how much work it would be because I'm pretty much the only one, you know, editing and directing and writing and all that fun stuff. I'm like the only one doing that so um, short movies are just a lot easier and most people when they go on YouTube you look at a video and you're like, oh, that looks cool, but then you see it's 40 minutes long, and you're like, oh, well, I don't really want to watch it anymore. But if it's like five minutes, you're like, oh, okay, so it just makes more sense. Why is there a A in Cena Cox 97? Because your name is Christopher, you misspelled it, Cox, and there is not a A in it. Uh, okay, that is, I got an itch. The story behind my name. Basically, when I created the YouTube channel, I wanted it to be really weird, something like, something like Valinorn or whatever, which is from Lord of the Rings. And uh, my dad was like, hey, go do something. I was like, okay. 
And then he came back and he's like, I made your name. And I was like, no! And I looked at it and said, C.A. Cox 97. He's like, get it because the C.A.C. are your initials. Cox is your last name. And 97, 1997, was the year you were born. Get it? And I was like, that sucks. Well, how do you feel your channel has changed over the years? What's the same? And what's different, in your opinion? In general, I think my channel... That's weird. General channel. Don't they kind of rhyme? I don't know. And so overall, I think my YouTube channel has, you know, grown over the years. And, um... They've kind of changed because originally I made Nerf videos that were just, you know, little fun videos. And now I kind of focus more on video game stuff. I'm still going to make Nerf videos eventually one day. But, um, you know, for now, it's sort of video game stuff because they're a lot easier to make. But I'm also more interested in them than Nerf. Who did you meet first, Ben or Camden? Ben, I met him during ragtime when I was 11 years old. And Camden, our moms knew each other before we were even born. So we've kind of known each other our whole lives. I think the first time we ever met was at a basketball game. He says baseball game or whatever, I don't really know. But basically, I, I remember, well, I don't remember, but apparently our moms remember. He was like, I love man, hi, Christopher, my name is Camden. I said, hi there, Camden. My name is Christopher. Uh, nice to meet you. And then they, we shook hands. Did you know Ben Switch seven got hacked? Okay, he did not get hacked. Here's the story. I met Ben uh, a couple, like a month ago or so, and he told me what happened. You see, back when YouTube was doing their fun little thing where they were removing YouTube channels that were inactive, that happened to Ben. Ben tried to sign on one day, and it said, um, this account has been terminated due to inactivity. Uh, the most important thing to think about that whole situation is that Ben didn't really sound that bitter or upset about it. I would be really upset if my YouTube channel, at that level especially, because he had like over 10,000 subscribers, he had like over 100,000 video or views on his videos, he had a good fan base going on, and I would be really upset if it was deleted, so I imagine he was very frustrated at the time, but I think he's moved on from that, and I'm happy that he's, it didn't really, you know. What happened to Ben? Why don't you make videos with him? He got into a show called Billy Elliot, he was on Broadway, and now he's been on tour with them ever since. Good news is he is going, his contract ends in June, so hopefully I'm going to be able to make videos with him in the summer. For now, though, it's going to be a lot of video game stuff, so sorry, Nerf fans. I got an itch on my neck. What's your favorite Nerf video you ever made? Probably Nerf Saw. To me, the videos kind of get better and better and better, but um, I don't know why. I just thought Nerf Saw really worked. What is your favorite food? Oh, oh man, that's a hard one. Um, uh, what are those things called? The the the, the ch ch chuchies, the bookies, wookies, um, the nookies. I I I don't know. I don't know. Pasta. Be honest. I've been subscribed since 2010. Are you ever gonna post videos consistently like you used to? To be honest, I never really posted videos that consistently. I mean, I I definitely posted videos more often back then, but that was because they were a lot easier to make. And a lot of them were update videos, like they are nowadays. Well, I try not to film that many update videos, because I don't really like filming update videos, because they're kind of boring, and it's more like, alright, here's the appetizer before the meal. This is the worst part. Back then, I was in middle school, and I was on online school, so it was a lot easier to make videos, because I kind of chose when to do my schoolwork. But now I'm in public school, I'm in 10th grade, things are getting harder, I'm getting busier, there's not a lot of time to make videos, and plus the videos are getting more complicated and more detailed, so they take a lot more to make. So I'm trying to find, you know, support with other people around here that can help me make the videos uh, behind the camera so that I can make them more often. But in general, I never really made them consistently. And so basically, the moral is be patient. That's all I really got. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Teleportation. I'd save a lot of money on transportation, and I could get out of any situation at, like, at, I'm gone. How did you find Jari? Oh, man. Uh, I assume you mean Jerry, my cat, for those of you who don't know. Uh, pretty much, we live near a forest, so we get lots of visitors, like foxes, and cats, and dogs, and deer, and possums, and raccoons. And one of those cats wasn't a stray cat, he was a very nice cat, so one day we invited him in when I was eight years old, and I was terrified of him, and then after two weeks I liked him, and I named him Jerry, after the Mungo, after the cat Mungo Jerry from the musical Cats. So that's where his name comes from, but we just call him Jerry. How long did you have Jerry? I've had Jerry for almost eight years. In April, it'll be eight years, because I was eight years old when we got him, and this year I'm turning 16. And he is going to be either nine or ten years old, because he was two or three when we first got him. What is your first Nerf gun? Probably either the Recon or the Maverick. I'm not quite sure. It was, it was, long, it was a long time ago, but I'm going to go with the Recon. How many Nerf guns do you have? Oh, let's see, 34. Yep. Are you willing to sell any? 
I think once I go to college, I'm probably going to sell most of these. I would probably only keep a few, like this one, for example, because it was the first one I ever used in a video. And maybe like the long strike, which is that one? No, that one. Yeah, that's the end part of it. And uh, yeah, that, those are probably the two I might keep. Other than that, I was thinking of selling all of them on eBay when I turn 18. What is the camera you're... Call me back. These. These are why I'm still alive today. And you know what goes well with cookies? Milk. <sighs> on to the next question. What is the camera... It's, it's on the floor, by the way. What is the camera you're using? How do you make your gaming bids? I use a capture card. For those of you who don't know what it is, it is basically a machine that you hook up to your uh, Xbox and TV or whatever it is, and uh, it films it to your computer. So it literally films your gameplay footage as if you, like, the way you see it. It doesn't just film your TV screen. So it is pretty much the best quality that you can get if, instead of sticking your camera in front of the TV and filming. I use an HD PVR. Um, I know that there's a lot of other capture cards out there that are really good, like the capture card, or HD PVR, but, uh, HD PVR works out pretty well for me. How long would it take you to, uh, how long would it take you to edit your videos? In general, back when I first started making videos, editing was a whole lot faster, maybe like a couple hours. Now, here's an example, Nerf Saw. When I got home, I had edited it a little bit. When I got home on October 31st, I was like, oh crap, I gotta post it tonight. From the moment I got home at 2.30, I edited it almost constantly. Never went to the bathroom, took a five minute break for supper, edited it till about 11.30 at night. And that's when I posted it, just straight through. So some videos take a whole lot to edit. And lots of times, it's not my fault. Sometimes I could get it done in like half that time. But sometimes it's technology and my computer, they're frickin' with me. And they say, oh, the, the clip is corrupted. And then it takes an hour to figure out how it's not corrupted. And then get back to editing. So lots of times the computer is just frickin' with me. But, you know, in general, it takes a lot. What do you use to edit your videos? I use iMovie. I really should stop using iMovie because, to be honest, some of the things that I'm really trying to do is really complicated. And iMovie's not good at that. I got Final Cut Pro, but I'm lazy and I don't like change. So... I haven't tried it out yet, but I really should. What is your favorite video game to play? In general, it's probably Left 4 Dead that's my favorite video game to play. Um, my second favorite is probably Halo Reach, uh, because it was the first Halo that I played. Lots of people would be mad at me for that, because I hear lots of Halo fans don't like Halo Reach. But, to me, it's pretty much the first game that you play in the series is usually your favorite. Why, when you play a game, you play the first mission only, and you don't continue the rest of the missions? This is my problem. Lots of times, I'll have ideas. And it's usually a series, I'll make the first episode, and I'll be very motivated and inspired to continue the series, but for some reason I always get other ideas, and the next thing you know I'm not motivated to make the series anymore. I'm going to be honest here, the Q&A's video, after I filmed it, and then I saw that the footage was messed up, and then I wanted to refilm it, but then I got the flu for two weeks, all of that time, now, it was really hard to make this video, because I already filmed it, and I was frustrated about that. And I kind of lost my motivation a while ago because, you know, back then I was like, oh, I gotta make the Q&A's video, it's gonna be so good. And, and then later, and then just so much later, I'm getting all these different ideas about new videos and I'm like, oh, I still gotta film my Q&A's video, dang it. So it was just, you know, it was, it was frustrating. And I know it gets annoying to the viewers, you know, you, you hear about a new series and you're like, oh, new series is gonna be great, you know, it's gonna be posting lots of videos, I'm gonna get to check them out. Oh, you only posted one video of the series and it's been three months since you've been, uh, it's not good. And I understand that. It's frustrating. It's frustrating for me, too. Why did you stop? Make more Alan Todd. Alright, here's the thing. Alan Todd was filmed back when Camden was like a 10 and I was 12. We were, we were little kiddish people. And um, now we're teenagers. It, it just doesn't work. It doesn't, it doesn't work. I'm sorry. Are you making a Nerf Saw 2? I'm, I'm never going to make a Nerf Saw 2 because it doesn't need a sequel. It annoys the crap out of me when... Jeez, I'm getting lots of burps and some milk. Um, what annoys me in Hollywood and, and movies in general is anything, any movie 
that gets a lot of money and is like unexpectedly popular almost all the time it, it, they're like oh we gotta make a sequel then they make a sequel sequel almost always is not nearly as good as the first it's, there's some differences nerf saw reason i'm not making a sequel is because one i don't want to screw it up and make one I, i'd rather have people look on nerf saw and remember oh man that was such a good video it'd be cool if you made another one but you know i still like that it's the you know the first one's the only one Instead of looking at the second one like, oh man, she's totally seen Nerf Saw. The second one sucks, but watch the first one, so good. You know, I, that's just my opinion. I'm never going to make a Nerf Saw 2 because it doesn't need one. The, I mean, all the characters are dead except for Jerry. So it wouldn't really be even a sequel because it doesn't have any of the same characters or storyline really. So I'm never making a sequel. Okay. No. Nope. All right. This is it. Had to put my milk down. Elephant in the room. Here we go. When's Nerf for the Assassin Part 3 coming out? Slash. When's the next Spartan Super Soldier episode coming out? Slash. When's Nerf Gun Zombie Apocalypse Part 3 coming out? Slash. When's the next Brick film? Slash. When's your next Nerf War? Whew. All right. Let's start with Assassin. Assassin, here's the thing. I don't want to make a third one that's pretty much exactly like the first two. The first two were just, you know, Nerf War's assassin trying to kill a dude. This is simple. I want the third one to be almost like a really epic movie set up like Kill Bill. You know, Chris, or Sia Cox 97, attack, goes after the boss, but he has to kill the four other remaining assassins. The fifth one was uh, Camden. And he has to take down the other four and then reach the boss. I want it to be sort of a really big epic thing. And I kind of like the idea of that possibly being my final Nerf War that I make. I don't know why. I just thought that would be kind of cool. Because in general, Nerf War the Assassin is probably my uh, most popular Nerf series, even though it's Really short series, because it's only two, but, you know. Uh, Spartan Super Soldier. Here's the problem with Spartan Super Soldier. It, it, it takes a lot to make each episode. I have a huge story planned out for it, and I really like this story. Um, I'm not switching to Halo 4, because I'm not a big fan of the armor in Halo 4. And also, theater mode is just god-awful compared to Halo Reach. But the problem with that is it takes so much to make. It literally takes straight two months just to make one episode. And... I like the episodes. My problem is that audio is really screwed up right now. The audio gets really blasty with certain things, and filming other people online who aren't in my house, the audio gets messed up. It's just a huge, long process, and I'm trying to figure out an easier and better way to make the episodes. Uh, Zombie Apocalypse Part 3. I plan on making that soon. Um, I was hoping Ben could be in it. Um, I know he played Ben in the first one, but since he looks so different now, I mean, he kind of looks different now, no, but I don't really care. I'd, I'd, I'd love to have him back because he's a really good actor, and he would play a really good part um, in the story. I've had the story planned out ever since I made part two. I hope to make that soon. And Brick Film, no idea why that's on here, but um, I don't know. I came up with an idea for one a while ago, but I haven't made it because the Brick Films actually make a, they take a lot to make, too. Stop motion animation is a pain in the butt, and I'm not, I'm not used to it. So, I might make another one sooner or later. Not quite sure. And Nerf War, uh, it's just, you know, in general, just kind of, you know, Nerf Guns people. I'll probably film a lot more videos in the summertime. I hope to make a lot more videos then. But right now, school's in the way, so, you know, just gonna make video game videos for now. And that is it for Q&A's video number four! So, I hope you guys like the video, and I might make another one in like five more years or something like that. And stay tuned for more videos. See you guys later! Um, <laughs> Bye!